And she said, why you don't like black women? And I was like, what? She said, you disrespect black women all the time. Mm -hmm. And I just was like, wow, that shit actually hurt because I don't do that. Superville here. In today's video, Corey Holcomb recounts a female comedian accusing him of disliking and disrespecting black women. Holcomb was bothered by this, feeling it's a misrepresentation. He clarified that his criticism targets specific behaviors, not black women as a whole, but those women often generalize his comments to represent all black women, which frustrates him. It's this comedian girl. Her name Roz. Okay. I ain't got to say the end. I know you're doing. Her name Roz. She walked up to me when we was laughing and shit, and she said, why you don't like black women? And I was like, what? She said, you disrespect black women all the time. Mm -hmm. And I just was like, wow, that shit actually hurt, because I don't do that. I take up for black women. This is why I got mad. Bitches never claim being a bitch. I talk about bitches all day long. And instead of claiming bitch, they come in the name of black women. Mm. Mm. That is foul. <laughs> you should claim bitch and admit when I say bitch, it touches you inside. Mm. Instead of stepping up in the name of black women. Yeah, bitches you. respond to bitch. You don't say skin color. Right. I don't even say, uh, 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 hey, uh, this black bitch. I don't even say that. I say bitch a lot. And so many bitches respond in the name of black women. Mm. And that is not fair. That is not fair. Yeah, you yeah, know you, you a bitch. All, you call all, most women. You call most women bitches, so. Yeah, I, I call mean, bitches bitches, D, and bitches get mad. I can't help but think of Sexy Red and Suki Hana because every time they appear on my feed, they're engaging in bitch behavior. And I just know they're the type to come in the name of black women. Unless you label them bitches. If they're, if they're feeling like they're a bitch, sure. Unless you label them bitches black I women, that's, that's on y'all. I, I see. If you label them bitches black women now. Hey, man, this world ain't fair, man. This is what a bitch trying to do. A bitch trying see. to turn the village against you. <laughs> see. Remember that. When you get into it with a bitch, they try and turn the village against you and say, look, everybody, he's bad. In other words, you talk about black women. No, no. I'm very sure that I say bitch a lot. <laughs> sure do. Bitch is just as common as hello to me. Sir, bitch a lot. <laughs> I don't walk around and disrespect women. I am very kind to women. The bitch say you don't like black women. Do you know how many black women I have fucked and gave money to. Oh There's no God. way you could justify oh, saying I don't like black wow. women. Wow. That's the best way you can support them right there now. Wow. That's so sweet. I fuck and give money to black women all the time. There's no way you could say I don't love them. Mm. Jesus. Mm. That's feeding the kids right there. That's feeding the kids. Feeding the kids that the other nigga abandoned. Mm. I am the king of that. I don't even blame the kid. All the children I meet in single mother households, I walk in and I try to cheer them up. I tell them, look, it ain't got to be like this forever, but just watch what your mama doing and you don't do that. Oh, God. What? <laughs> when you go over a single mother's house, she should be telling them don't be like me. She shouldn't be having you over there, Mary. <laughs> but she's too arrogant to tell them don't be like me. So it's my job after I wash up and get through with what I'm doing with her to tell the children, don't wind up like this. <laughs> I tell kids all the time, your mama don't like me. I just, I'm a trick. I trick off with the bitch. That's why the bitch like me. A bad decision's got to wish you, got to go with you. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Tell the truth sometime. 
Tell the truth about who you are. The children are fucked up in the village because the mama won't tell them the truth. I saw a man say something on the internet, Marcus, Darlene. Mm. You know what he said? He said, ain't no love equal to a father's love. But we're taught a mother's love is the truest love. I got proof that ain't true. I was going to say too, yeah. It doesn't, it's not I all the time. It's not, <laughs> no. Father make a hell of a difference uh, in the child's life. I got proof that ain't true. Well, I do too. Shit. A father loves his kids, but most men Agreed. have the power to realize this bitch didn't poison them seeds I see them in the game and hope we can make it work from there. It's all, oh Lord. Cause a nigga can go get a new family. Niggas can go get a new family. They're not gonna argue with no bitch for the rest of their life. We tried to play a clip of Dr. Dre, a brother who I, I got mad love for. Dr. Dre helped me out. He helped me get this Beats commercial and everything. Man, Dre was, man, Dre look out. Oh, look, that's right, you weren't on the show when he did that. Dre oh. said, Dre that's said, for the first time in his life, he is free. Yeah. What's the one to do after divorce? After divorce, he said all the kids grown up, all this shit. He said, I don't have to work a job. He said, I can work when I want to work. Mm -hmm. I saw it in his eyes when he was saying it. I'm free finally. I remember when Dre was going through the divorce. Dre wasn't trying to leave his wife. Mm -hmm. His wife wanted to leave him. But I bet now that she is gone, mm -hmm. I'm willing to bet he would not go back to that life he had before. Yeah. And I want to tell mm -hmm. all of the people out there. Want me to put that down yes, for you, please. D? I'm sorry. I was going to reach it. Thank Listen, you. Listen, this is some real I shit. It. All you men who are married, the reason you put up with that life of being married in America which ain't shit. Being married in America is a fucking slave volunteer service. And any motherfuckers say different line to you because they being ran. But once a real nigga, once a man who is strong-minded, break free of a wretched situation with a woman, it's so hard to get him caught back up in that shit. It ain't no way in the world, if you a man who believe in yourself, you will be in a situation where you answer to a bitch about anything. <laughs> it just funny. takes to be in that situation <laughs> and then when you get free. Now, a sucker will wind up in that situation three times, four times in a row. That's a sucker. Any man been married more than once is a sucker. Goddamn wife turn into your mama. I ain't finna do that shit. I never let a it motherfucker have me where I, I gotta tiptoe through my motherfucking um, life. Ain't a motherfucker finna go through that shit and the, and, the, and the system enables the women to basically be in control of you. Cause when they leave, if you got married with your little regular ass marriage certificate, <laughs> nigga. Unless she makes more than you like a like a uh, the exceptions like Mary J. Who else got you know what I'm saying where the guy oh, got yeah. uh, the guy got taken. Okay, hold on. Or okay, so yeah, Mary J. Ooh, Mary J. Too, husband yeah. left her, left her. What do you mean? Did he leave her? Who left who? No, she left him because remember he was spending her money and was with the other girl, or whatever. Yeah. I could see her leaving because he, he was with the bitch he wanted to be with with her money. <laughs> I could see that. He was with the bitch he wanted to be with. I could see that. 